Hello, this is Idea Nexus, a YouTube channel about board games and computer science, sometimes about computer science and sometimes just about board games. Today, I'm going to show you a great game you can play with just a sheet of graph paper, a pencil, and a ruler that teaches physics concepts such as acceleration, deceleration, velocity, and inertia. This is called Racetrack, and kids have been playing this game long before the days of personal computers. So, we start by drawing our track. This is a creative game, and you can draw your track however you like. In, oops, in this case, I'm going to draw a fat track. The fatter your track, the easier the game is, and I'm not very good at this game. I tend to accelerate too much and crash. So we've got a basic track. Now I'm going to draw our starting slash finish line, and I'm going to draw some arrows. <clears throat> and finally we're going to draw our vehicle. Now I'm going to draw a little triangular spacecraft. Now, each turn you can move into any of the nine boxes surrounding where your spacecraft or race car is going to end up. In this case, my race car has not mo yet moved, so I can, uh, this will be my starting position, so what we're going to do is we're going to set our spacecraft in motion, and we've moved one space. So this is our new location. We have now established some inertia. We have acted on our ship to set it in motion, and if nothing else acts on our ship, it will continue to move at the same velocity. Velocity is the measure of how far it moves over time. In this case, uh, a unit of time is one turn. So in one turn, our ship is going to move one more space. If we do, if we act on it, no other way. So here's our new possible, our new where our ship will end up next turn. So we draw a box around, and these are the nine squares. If we want to keep going at the same pace, we just put our ship there, but I'm going to accelerate a little bit by going here. And so now instead of moving, we've moved one, and instead of moving one, we're going to move one, two. And this is where I should be using the ruler, and I'll go ahead and do that. Now, if we do nothing, our ship will move one, two. That is the new location. You see I'm hugging the racetrack a little bit here. Again, I'm going to accelerate by moving to the far end. And now we are moving one, two, three. So our velocity is going to be one, two, three. Here we go. <clears throat> and now we've got to start making our way around the turn. Now, if I wanted to break, I could maybe do here and slow down a little bit. Move towards the back of the square, but we're going to continue accelerating. Now we've moved. One, two, three, four, and over one. So one, two, three, four, and over one. And we got to, I'm going to shorten the distance a little bit by slowing down as we go around the turn. We have now moved one, two, three, one, two. So one, two, three, one, two. Getting a little close to that wall. So I'm gonna slow, try and slow down a little bit more. And a wider track lets you speed up a lot more. Let's see. One, two, one, two. So one, two, one, two. Getting very 
close to that wall. In fact, in some variations of the rule, this might count as a hit. <clears throat> Let's go here to speed up a little bit around the corner. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Let's maintain. Going to start our turn. One, two, three. One, two, three. What I like about drawing the boxes in this game is that you can kind of see how your you see the boxes you see they spread out as we speed up they get closer as we get back close together one one two three four one one two three four That's going to count as a crash, depending on how you play. I mean, we got a wall there. The wall is right in the middle. So, kaboom. <laughs> Nothing I can do there. So, as you can see, we went around the racetrack, and I lost, even though I had a script that I was tracing off of. Here is a sort of completed game. If I cheated and moved this wall here, which I totally did, I thought I was gonna move that, but I was calculating the um, I was calculating the squares wrong. So the squares are great because you use them to uh, to count the offset. One two, so one two. You know your you know your inertia. You know your velocity. <clears throat> so that's that's racetrack in a in a nutshell. Um, another variation on this, there is a uh, a board game called Interplanetary by uh, Steve Jackson Games. Um, and in this game, you would have, you, you play two ships and um, each turn you would move your ship and your ships will move this exact same way. And it uses a dry erase board uh, to, to, to track movement. So you, if you start moving in, there's also, it also brings, uh, you could bring planets into this. So maybe you had a planet here and you could say something like okay well the gravity uh, there's gravity pulling these ships so there's different ways to refactor this there's a lot of like interesting mechanics when once you have this real basic game down and if you're gonna play it multiplayer uh, get a bunch of different colored pens and pencils and have all your players and this turns into a total mess when you do that but it's beautiful mess and that's uh, racetrack. And so next, I'd like to talk about how you might program this game in JavaScript in a web app.